Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about GATE. Welcome back and we are studying DBMS. In order to understand normalization, we are understanding the normal forms. We started from the first normal form, then second normal form, then third normal form. And now we have reached to the last normal form, which is based upon the functional dependency. I mean, in order to understand all the normal forms, what we have been using so far? And the tool functional dependency. So the last normal form is BCNF, Boys Chord Normal Form. Um, I mean, okay, let's get into the name of the normal form. I mean, so far first, second, third. Now, why not fourth? It is why it is Boys Chord. In fact, you see, BCNF is sometimes uh, is also called as 3.5 normal form. It is a little stricter, stricter than third normal form and uh, first, second and third, all the three normal forms were defined by uh, F chord, okay? But this uh, normal form, which is beyond a 3NF, was de uh, defined by two persons. One is boys, Raymond boys, and other is F chord, okay? So that's why they have taken their own names and they have put it as BCNF, okay? That's about the name. Okay, let's understand what BCNF is. So, a relation is said to be in BCNF, just like the old conditions, if and only if two conditions should be true. First, it is in 3NF, of course, it has to be in 3NF. Second, which is talking about the type of functional dependency. X must be either the candidate or super key for each functional dependency X to Y in F. You have relation R, it has certain attributes, it has given functional dependency set F, okay? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, how many, whatever number of functional dependencies defined in this. Now for this relation to be in BCNF, to be passed by the test of BCNF, first of all it should be in 3NF, that means all the conditions which applies to be in 3NF should be through, it should be through them, right? Second additional condition is whatever functional dependencies it has for each of them, the determinant of each functional dependency should be either candidate key or super key. Okay, nothing else is going to work out. We are not considered about what is going to be the dependent. Okay, but we are considered about what is going to be the determinant. Who is determining is important in order to reduce all the redundancy which was still left out in third normal form okay so i mean uh, you of course understand this point that why we are going higher in the normal forms because at every level we are uh, you know putting aside some level of redundancy or some sort of anomaly is still present okay due to certain type of functional dependency and that we are trying to put aside that we are trying to eliminate and so we are reaching to the next level of normal form. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Let's just take one simple example. Let's take a relation R, A, B, C. Functional dependency given as A, B to C and uh, C to A. Okay. Fine. Now for this relation, let's find out the key. The key, because I have already solved this question in the previous video for the third normal form. So we from there we know the key is AB, okay, because AB is determining ABC and because A gets replaced by C, so this also has BC as a key because ABC closer also gives us ABC. But furthermore, nothing is possible. So in a, in a way, I can say that all the three attributes are prime attributes. Okay, now check for the functional dependencies. So this is a complete super key or key determining a key attribute. So this is never ever a problem. Now come to this place, part of key determining a part of key. That means prime attribute is determining a prime attribute. Okay, this sort of functional dependency is not a problem till we are talking about third normal form. But when we check make a relation database and put data we see because of this dependency there are certain type of redundancy available in the database in the instance which could cause inconsistent state in future okay and and this sort of 
dependency and this sort of redundancy produced because of this dependency we want to eliminate that okay and uh, why this problem is coming is important to understand i mean why this function dependency is a cause of course we have understood that this dependency causes redundancy in the database but why it is causing data, uh, redundancy in the database the reason is the reason is very simple overlapping candidate keys what is the reason overlapping candidate keys is the reason what do you mean by overlapping candidate keys now this must be a question in your mind nothing but then because we have a b and we also have b c as the key okay so these two are the keys and what is overlapping in these two keys there is an attribute which is overlapping what is that attribute b okay so they have a common attribute and they are overlapping each other and because of this condition i mean if these uh, keys would have been independent of each other then there wouldn't have been any issue okay but it's not so we don't have independent candidate keys we have overlapping candidate keys and that's why the problem is there and that's why there have been a dependency between c to a okay and this causes us the redundancy so that is the main flaw in the th three normal form or that is a main issue which is not addressed in three normal form so three normal form still has some kind of uh, you know redundancy but the highest normal form through the functional dependency overcomes this flaw also which is bc nf and i hope now with this example i mean this small uh, understanding you have understood what bc nf is so now uh, let's solve one question which will make you understand more about the bc nf so i have actually taken this standard previous year uh, gate 2004 uh, question this question was asked in gate 2004 so uh, let me read out the question for you uh, again i would say that uh, after getting the question noting it down on your paper do solve it yourself and then come back for the solution okay so yeah the question says the relation schema the name of the schema is student performance okay this is a schema name which have four attributes name course number roll number and grade has the following functional dependency set this is the functional dependency set this is the first functional dependency second third and fourth okay four functional dependencies are defined so the question asks the highest normal form of this relation schema is it's 2nf or 3nf or bcnf or 4nf so we have to actually check what type of uh, what is the highest normal form for this relation highest normal form always means that if it is in that highest normal form then the lower normal forms are by default satisfied by it okay that's why it asks for the highest uh, as we all know that to solve such questions there are just one two things one, one thing is with the help of functional dependency first of all find out the all the candidate keys with the help of candidate keys and getting to know that what are prime attributes what are non prime attributes we will check for the type of the dependency based on the type of dependencies present we will declare the highest normal form so let's check for the key and uh, for that i always start with the first functional dependencies determined part so let's take uh, name along with the course name course number and take its closure it determines itself so it determines name course number it also determines grade so it determines grade okay three attributes have come and name also determines roll number so from here it also determines a roll number fine fine okay everything has come so all the four are there now can we break it name plus alone let's take for the name alone so name plus will give you name and roll number and that's it nothing else and course number alone will give you only course number nothing else but you can see that the name is the dependent here and it is determined by roll number so let's replace it by roll number and along with the course number so this closure gives us roll number 
course number i'm writing in short and uh, this two together determines a grade so grade and also roll number determines a name and so name okay so again all the four attributes are determined so uh, this is also key because again roll number alone will determine only this and course number alone will determine only itself so both of them are keys do we see any other key no because course number is not de dependent anywhere so it cannot be replaced and grade is only dependent it cannot determine anything by itself okay so these two are the keys and with the help of that we can see we have three prime attributes and what are they one is name the other is roll number and the other is course number okay these three are the prime attribute and non prime attribute is grade only grade okay pardon me because i am very uh, per, uh, like or i keep on switching between prime attribute and key attribute but both of them are exactly same i have told you multiple times in my videos that both of them are exactly same okay so here with this with this knowledge now we have to check what are the type of functional dependencies so now go for the very first functional dependency name course number is a complete key it's a full key a key determining non key attribute is not at all a problem is a is a good check okay it's a good functional dependency so this is pass again course num roll number and course number is a key in itself till the determining a non key attribute it's a go it's a good de dependency now here uh, name and roll number which are prime attribute so prime attribute or key attribute determining the key attribute and here also key attribute determining the key attribute what is it it is violation of bcn if this is this is uh, overlapping candidate keys okay so now how overlapping candidate keys are coming you, you can see here the two candidate keys are present right here and you see they are overlapped they have one common Uh, attribute which is overlap between them okay and because of this this will be known as violation of bcnf and this also will be known as violation of bcnf okay but this relation has no partial dependency it has no transitive dependency but it has the condition which do not satisfy the condition of bcnf it has a violation of bcnf and so the highest normal form becomes what obviously 3 nf because no transitive dependency and also no partial dependency okay so i mean it is in 2 nf also but the highest one is 3 nf okay so i hope this is where it becomes very clear to everyone that how what is a bcnf and how do we check for the highest normal form or how do we check for the bcnf to be pres uh, to be true for the relation or not by checking out for the violation of bcnf so i will see you very soon in the next video with some more concept or i'm i'm going to come up with a you know brief of all the normal forms so let's uh, catch up there again bye bye